And we shall be on. Zonola. Zonola. V Gates. Segmel. Was machst du? Mir geht es gut. <laughs> ich denke über das vierdimensionale Rollenspiel. Oh my God. We're going to confuse everybody. So <laughs> let's, let's stick and it out with English. And all persons tuned out. <laughs> all righty. Um, you're bringing up bandwidth and mental stacks. Tell me your thoughts so far. <clears throat> all right. Let's, uh, let us start with uh, bandwidth because I think it's important to understand bandwidth to get to mental stack. Okay. Uh, the bandwidth is a concept. I, I've, I've picked up both concepts from different areas and uh, I've been thinking about them if that this is an important concept for role-playing games. Okay. Bandwidth means, let's say, let's say you have 100 units of bandwidth to pay your attention on during your whole day. So you sleep, you wake up, uh, you eat something, you go to the toilet, you think about, oh man, I should read this book and I need to do my chores and I need to go to work. I have to get a cup of coffee. Right. So your mental bandwidth stacks up over time. And then you also have the time with, uh, with walking your dog, spending with your family, like reading a book you really enjoy. And okay. those are like the positive experiences. Okay. And so you go through the day and some people might go uh, take an evening shower or go to bed and they think about like, was it a good day? Was it a bad day? What they liked? And like, it's just, you know, <laughs> the thoughts become intrusive. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. You, you relax, you relax. And, and you realize like, man, I had this talk with this cashier. She was a bit snide, but I got a sour mood and let it affect me. And do I need this experience to affect me? Like, is this something I want to spend bandwidth on or not? Mm. Do I? That's, that's how I wrote it down. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, now, how, yeah. how, is it in, how, take what's important or discard what is useless? Gotcha. Gotcha. Or what's distracting, so, so to say. Okay. So uh, what you're, what you're relating this to is an in game experience in bandwidth. That's what yeah, you're bandwidth. If, if you bring bandwidth, uh, that's, uh, where we go to mental stack to be more concrete. Okay. Then bandwidth is we have a hundred percent on, uh, on like we are playing the game for three hours. Mm -hmm. You're a hundred percent there, but you take 10% to order the pizza. You know, you right. take a 30% right. to talk with your friends. You haven't met the whole month. Mm -hmm. You take 20% to talk about the rules. Or then you take 40% because you're playing Shadowrun. You really need to talk about lots of rules. Okay. And what you're, left, what you're left is a little bit left over for actually role-playing. Uh, okay. It's kind of like my uh, ratio idea of 60, yeah. 30, 10. And yeah, that, that would fit tweeting. with the ratio idea. Okay, okay. So, um, I mean, uh, I mean, it's a it's a valid kind of thought process. I I would, you know, it it makes sense, you know, that you commit certain amount of time to certain things. In the game, in the game, um, whenever. Whenever we do a like a brainstorm, one of the things that we bring up is what kind of movie are we emulating? Are we emulating a slow burn kind of, you know, movie that's going to go into like, you know, more, yeah. you know, of philosophy and the characters and stuff like that and and yeah. start cranking it up into some sort of thing that happens. Or uh, is this, or is this is something like, uh, bam, we're all in the action, and it's a Tarantino movie. Somebody shot, screaming, and dying yeah. in the back seat, right? And, and and you're trying to get away from from you know another gang or something like that. Um, something went totally wrong, and 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 you're going forth from there. Um, yeah. When when. 
Now, now the way way we play, we probably got about ten per ten percent of what we do in a in our games currently as a four D role play. Um, yeah. Is is just you know maybe mentioning you know something like uh, you know nobody uh, like somebody said something like maybe Phil said something but it was cut off on the mic and I may have to yeah. say hey uh, repeat that you know or something like that yes. that will always happen that will you know yeah. we're kind of we're kind of limited with our with our technology here and and, uh, and yeah. how how or, we cross uh, or yeah. the the police car drives past the apartment. Stuff like yeah. that happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and even Sean has times where he has to turn things off, and because he's got things squalling in the background and and, and stuff yeah. like that. I have a I have a dog that always starts barking, uh, <laughs> yeah, outside. So yeah, uh, sometimes I have to go ahead and turn off my you know my my mic and and just so that everybody can you know have their sanity. Um, exactly. My wife wants to ask me questions sometimes, so I actually yeah. turn off the mic and and talk to her real quick. Stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. That, so I don't disrupt the stream or the role playing session, and uh, don't disrupt the uh, what we are currently talking about and keep right. it flowing. Okay, okay. I mean, we, uh, you know, uh, the ratio could be, you know, um, a bandwidth, so to speak, you know, in in in, yeah. in how we present, you know, in the lexicon. That that is certainly certainly a valid thing, and I think it, it makes kind of sense. Yeah. Um. Now. Now, what about mental stack? What was your What was your idea behind yes. that? So a bandwidth is the general concept of how much are you paying attention to what thing? Because we all have 100%, but we all spend it on different things. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I know I spend a lot more bandwidth on the food I eat, but I spend no bandwidth on weed or smokes, <laughs> you know? Right, like, right. I, that's not part of what I spend my time with. Now, when we go to mental stack, this is a, a concept uh, that I know from video games, especially esports. So okay. I've heard about it in League of Legends when you have both teams with five players. I, I'm trying to use examples that you can sure. uh, that you know. Uh, I, I got examples from League of Legends or StarCraft or Street Fighter. Do you know any of those? Yeah, yeah, you know, RTS style, you know, games yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, or, you know, uh competitive kind of esport kind of things, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can use StarCraft then because with one player it's a bit easier. Mm -hmm. uh, since you, you're playing, you're building a base, you're building an army and you're developing technology on a time on a timer. Gotcha. You're trying right. To invade the enemy base and uh, and the mental stack is how do I overwhelm him, and that's the the skill that comes in when we are very very competitive. He's very good at catching all the shots you fire, and to deflect and shoot them back. So I okay. build a huge army, but he is sending infiltrators to destroy my supply line, and I'm not prepared. Right, because I'm amassing all the cash first. Okay. That is mental stack, and mental stack overflow is I'm not I'm ready to deal with this problem that's coming to attack me from the front. I can deflect the second problem that is invading my base, attacking my supply lines, but the third problem is shooting down a nuke on my other base. I didn't spot that. My mental stack was overflown. Right. So I lose the game. Oh, okay. And for for role-playing games, the mental stack would be I'm at the table uh, role-playing. Now the decker plugs into uh, the console and starts hacking. Now my mental stack is what are the hacking rules? Does, uh, does this game master use the same hacking rules as my as I would do it? Does he like change it on the moments to be more fluid? I have to ask questions like, what does it look like in the matrix? Mm -hmm. And now my metal stack is filled with rules and with Mother May I questions 
and the role playing gets overflown, <laughs> falls off. Like the glass is full and the metal stack overflows. Okay. Okay. So managing how how you uh, how you uh Okay. So for for example, let's 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 take my character from from uh the Worlds Without Number game. Okay? Yes. So Mage. I have I have I have cards. I have cards with the with the spells written out on them and stuff like that, and maybe a note oh, up that's on top. A fine print. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I know. For uh, I, uh, you know, I've had my eyeball lenses replaced with plastic ones, so I can I can actually read this stuff. But <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, so uh, yeah, I had an operation not yeah. too uh, like like a few years ago where uh, where where I had oh. uh, the lenses blasted out of my eyeballs and uh, and replaced with the uh, plastic oh. ones. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy sci-fi stuff. So I have I have cyborg well? guys. It yeah, it went uh, actually quite well, and uh, it, it, it totally improved my vision. I used to wear like super thick like <laughs> glass, you know. Uh, goggles pretty much <laughs> the, the nerd yeah, I, uh, it, yeah i was i was losing my sight because of the uh, uh my eyes aren't growing by i have very small eyes in my and my uh lenses are, were starting to yes. grow into my iris so that was causing problems oh. yeah, called glaucoma yeah and uh so i had yeah. I, I had my uh, lenses replaced but yeah i i have a bunch of these all my spells here so i have that i have my sheet with all my extra powers on them okay unfortunately yes. Yeah, it's, yes. it, it, like so. but what extra my powers extra abilities now, to crap off. and i have my character sheet so we have yeah. you know two, two basically pages of, of of character sheet here so this is all my this is all my mental stack going on and yeah. uh and now I have to concentrate on what Crispy's saying. I have to concentrate on each each turn, what Max says, what uh, exactly. what Phil says. And, and yeah, I mean, for some people, it's, it's, that might be a little bit of a challenge, right? So um, it's it's also the mindscaping is a mental stack. Yes. But yeah. They're talking, but I'm translating what they say into a picture I can imagine. Right. Which right. takes uh, which takes focus. Like that is a mental stack. Yes. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Um so yeah, I think oh, yeah, it's a that's a very good kind of uh, I, I I think that's a very interesting um you know, it's 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 something that we could we could throw into the the lexicon, and it's something that uh, mm. I, I mean, you can you can alleviate a lot of this stuff by a simpler yeah. rule set, of course. Um, exactly. Which is which? Yeah, which is why when when I start with a practice, I, I go with the the simplest simplest thing. You know, two d six. If you're if you're good at it, add three. If you're bad at it, minus three. Easy, yeah. easy. And uh, and I I'm I'm I don't have my my practice players have a have any kind of a sheet. They imagine themselves whatever role they're playing a fighter. You know you're going to be good with fighting plus three. You're going to be you're yes. going to be eh, kind of terrible at 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 uh you know taking apart traps. Yeah, you're gonna probably get a minus three on that. Uh, it, it it all depends on yeah. how you think your character is, is gonna function. If you th you're thinking of your character as maybe more of a you know a sneaky fighter, sure, get you know uh, go ahead and give yourself yeah. a plus one or something like that. If if you're if you're fighting the, so I'm I'm trying to alleviate a lot of that kind of pressure on the player when they're doing practice to make it as simple as possible, but let them think through how their character is in their head so if if they're if they're imagining their character to be specifically skilled at certain things go for it yeah you know i i'm, yeah, I'm totally yeah um so that helps obviously in in all this extra you know having all you know when i say if if you if you want to play like a mage in my in my practice yeah. game Go for it. Imagine any spell that you want to, 
And you know, it's, it's one of the cool things of playing a magic user. It's like, yeah, it's magic. So yes. let's play yeah. into it. And, yeah, and I, I and, and I'm not saying okay, keep track of how many spells you use or anything like that. <laughs> I just want the player to relax, chill, yeah. and you know, and experience, uh, you know, 3D role play. So you know, just the response I and 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 uh, and reply between. Uh, the player and the game master and how that yes. works out. So that that I find uh, you know important in in just a practice. But yeah, once you get into actual games, some of these games are really heady. You know, uh, you have a lot of what we'll call mental stack. <laughs> that sounds yeah. awesome. They, they use a lot of bandwidth, right? Yeah, if yeah. Your mental so, stack fills up, and yeah. when it's full. Everything else overflows, and the first and, and, victim is role playing. Yeah, yeah, it, it tends to be that. It tends to be that. Um, for uh, for what we do, yeah, you have to keep in mind um, when when we're when we're in a scene. Phil says something, and he starts talking about a palm tree or something like that, or his yeah. uh, tents and stuff uh, you know tense so now i'm imagining tense it goes over to um uh to crispy and he starts talking about the the entourage of of men that are showing up which are the sultan's men then i get yeah. some more information from mr max who's talking about the horses and something else but you know this is this didn't happen but you know i'm i'm yeah. i'm adding things and he's adding more into the scene so now we have the horses there we have you know what he's doing now i come along and i have to take all this information and process my game you know um move my action and uh yeah. and what i would be saying yeah i can i can see you know, uh, with uh, with with uh, with that, possibly, I think uh, smaller groups might be able to be helpful in first initially training. You know, or or having people come into a smaller group to start. Yeah. If they have problems with their uh, mental stack or bandwidth, and uh, and you know, and process things. Uh, uh, in a smaller scale so if it's just the game master and the and the player you know just a, yeah. a kind of a solo scenario i think those would be more preferable for those types of of players that have a, a smaller mental stack um it's or, it's definitely a thing like metal stack has like no range on it that's just mm -hmm. to define what we are focusing on and yes. the mental stack overflow is this is when, like, it doesn't get in the head anymore. Like, you're in school, you get taught about arithmetic, and you learn, you learn, and then you're bored, you're hungry, you want to go home, you look at the clock, right? Mm, that, mm. that type of deal. And, and, and I find the training sessions really helpful because you're already, as you explained, you're hooking into the mental stack part of, let's get rid of the rules, Right. Let's get rid of all the extra players. Let's get mm -hmm. rid of pizza. let's get rid of the time consumption. Limit to one right. hour, maybe one one thirty to talk about it a bit. And just focus on role playing. Now, mm -hmm. now you've opened up like so much of mental stack, like all the chunks out. Yes. And now we are focusing yeah. on role playing and we can talk about it and improve on it. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if if you if you have that additional, you know, uh, you know, out of character Free talking and stuff like uh -huh. it, it, yeah, you you know, the entire the entire uh, session becomes kind of a wash. You're you're only going to end up with yes. maybe 10% or 20% gameplay happening if if people are are, you know, pulling out of of their their role play mindset. So yeah. Yeah, that's uh, you know, it's a uh, that's important. So, um, yeah, something like that. Definitely, we can we can you know put put that into the lexicon. I think that is is uh, um, 
instead of going with the golden ratio of, <laughs> yeah. of the typical games, yeah, it's a mental stack. So um, that that I, could I think be the the reason why it's important because we've mm -hmm. uh, I've talked with Mr. Max about elitism, like mm -hmm. about painting the wrong picture. People check in, see two minutes, and they see the. Big red X, uh, this is wrong how they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a role play. It's like it's fun, but it's not inviting. So yes. when people yeah. come yeah. in and check out, like what are they doing different? So yeah. and we have the lexicon to explain it. Oh, okay. mental stack means that we are getting rid of what is distracting and keep what is useful to Correct. free up space, like to empty our cup so that we can fill it with more role play. Exactly. And when they have a word to attach it to, now they're like, oh, I see what they mean. Hopefully. I mean, this is why I want to introduce these words to the lexicon. Mm -hmm. so that people understand what we mean. And cool, we break cool. down the barrier of communication. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we could, we could, we could take this recording because I, I have the yeah. ability to go ahead and, uh, and, and throw it into the discord here and say, Hey, what, what do yes. you guys think about this little discussion we have? And, and, uh, and maybe have them ponder upon it too. Uh, since, yes, uh absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right now it's, it's, uh, 425 in the afternoon. So no, there's, uh, I mean, Sean or just popped on just now. So he's been bleeping yeah. bleeping at me <laughs> on the one side <laughs> so you know he's he's uh he's he's in my bandwidth right now so <laughs> yeah yeah he's so, taking yeah, up your yeah. bandwidth right yeah so there you go <laughs> five percent so, bandwidth is shauner now <laughs> yeah it's shauner and bleep bleep yeah on, on discord <laughs> but yeah yeah i mean that's a that's an interesting yeah yeah that's an interesting thing i think we'll we'll go ahead and post this uh this recording yes. up onto um uh, onto our discord and uh let uh let big bad and, and crispy and everybody else kind of have their have uh, a look over what we're talking about here in this recording I, and uh and i have yeah. another point but but okay. i'm not sure how relevant it is okay the important part of playing with the same players and playing mm -hmm. the same rules is you are reducing bandwidth that you need to spend now instead of spending 20 percent on each player you need to spend 5% because you understand the body language. You understand how they tick. So you don't have to think about it. You already internalized it. And yes. you play worlds without number. You've had the first session already. On the yes. second session, I understand how initiative works. I know, uh, I know some of the factions now. I understand some more of the rules and it reduces the bandwidth and it yes. opens up more, uh, uh, it opens up more room for role playing, yeah. And, that's, yeah. and this is the part, the skill part of developing your mental uh, of uh, of developing your mental stack of widening your bandwidth by reducing what takes up time and <laughs> processing power. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, and and to help reduce that mental stack, uh, which is why we have yeah. the. Uh, session zero, where we start, or, or the brainstorming, where we yes. put together, we we know what this world is all about because we created it, all the knowns, yeah. and then you know, and then it is just basically taking all our knowns into the first session uh, and bringing out our our own uh, character. Uh, flaws, wants, needs, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it 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 starts the session slow because we're yeah. introducing these things, which um, the audience and the other players are learning about our characters a little bit more. So obviously, yeah, it, it takes it, our bandwidth, right? Yeah, it needs and a then, lot of attention. Yeah, and then by the time you get to the second session. Uh, you're like okay i know these guys so i don't have to you know your your brain isn't focused on that you know how 
you know, how, uh, you know, Phil's character is going to be, and you know how, yeah. you know, uh, um, Mr. Max's character is going to be. So uh, you're like, oh, yes. okay, I don't have to worry about that no more. And yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah it's it. But yeah, things that we can do to, to reduce our mental stack, uh, like I say, um, the session zero is important. Learning the rules, you know, getting getting the, the, the rules down. Uh, Pat... But we we do we do kind of stipulate whenever players first get into a game that they that they read like the the basic rules. Yeah. You got to know how the how the uh, basic attack works, how you defend, how you yeah. um, how you do your abilities, uh, or yeah. how you do your skills. As long as you know those those basics, it, everything else. Uh, kind of becomes a little bit more easier as we go along. Yeah, and and uh, and yeah, and, and that changes from different role playing groups because a lot of players say, "Hey, man, new your new player. I don't even know you. You want to join? Sure." But now this takes up even more bandwidth. Now we are focusing on the first session is learning the rules and explaining the stuff. We are playing two D. Yeah. And setting and like what is the expectation? I want my players to understand it for the next session. Okay, next session, you will know all the combat stuff, and we will start learning some magic or some hacking or so, or you know, more of the lore. And in the first mm -hmm. session, okay, mm -hmm. now you know the rules. Let's yeah. roll that. And we don't even have the rule book on the table anymore. We now we are evolving to staying in role play. And and every table can decide how they want to handle it. But for game masters, not to be afraid to also challenge the players. Like, we are learning, we are evolving, we are having fun, but it's more fun. It's it's a challenge, but it's a fun challenge to yes. also evolve our game. Yeah, it it just yeah uh, yeah it makes the game um, when when you when you're synced up like that, it makes that game yeah. feel more realistic in your mind. Yeah, uh, you can see the things that are happening in your head, and uh, and that flow between the players uh, starts working, and, yes. and you start. You yes, know. absolutely. Yeah, it so, becomes yeah. like playing chess together, like you're yeah. you're riffing it up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, one thing I'm gonna do uh, of this Friday, I'm doing the uh, Numenera introduction to a yeah. bunch of new players. So we have the, the new. Just me. new Huh? It's me. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. So yeah, <laughs> so with uh, with OG and yourself and uh, who else? Did, well, I think we had one other or somebody else in there, but uh, I think it was Nick, yeah, Nicholas. Nicholas. So when we get together and we start uh, we start brainstorming, and decide. Okay, you want to play a delve? You want to play a, a you know a glaive? You want to play a uh, Arcus or whatever it is that you're gonna? We're gonna go over all those rules so that pay, uh, everybody kind of understands with the role of each each kind of character as is as it pertains to, I guess, kind of like a class. But uh, yeah, but like the uh, yeah. But uh, the the neat thing about Cipher is a lot of these you know things that these these uh, abilities and stuff like that are are interchangeable with other classes too, so it's not yeah. it, you're not really restricted as the class you can you can pull powers from different areas you just have to keep in mind you know your that your uh, your mind your your might and everything has to be you know coinc uh, help. Has to, has to be enough power there for you to use effort and stuff. But I, I will go over yeah. all of those information so it, it makes it a little bit more effortless. I'll do a demonstration yeah. showing how I'm going to flash up there what the challenge rating is going to be. So it'll pop up and you'll, you'll see automatically that uh, a challenge rating three will be a nine plus. And then if somebody Absolutely. says... It says I will assist Zonolar by doing this and this and 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 you know, then you'll see that change go down to a two, which is uh, going to be a six or higher. And then if somebody else yeah. does something to you know to alleviate the situation, we're going to try and and develop a more fluidity in the game so it, it becomes more natural. 
And, and we'll, we might yes, have to yes. try a couple of different things because, you know, every time we go into this with a new system, it becomes uh, a challenge for me or whoever's running the game to make it yes. as smooth of a of a of a process as possible. So it doesn't, yeah, how, doesn't how do count. we explain the rules of the system to all the players so they understand? Yeah, and don't have yeah. to like scratch their head and ask like, how do I do this again? Like, do I attack <laughs> yeah. this number? Yeah. Do I get bonus or does it get reduced? Like, I don't even know if you change the numbers now that I explained it. So yeah, so we break down the barriers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That is, I, I like that. I, I think, we'll, yeah, we should go ahead and, uh, you know, yeah. stop the recording at our 30-minute mark and uh, present it to our buddies there in the uh, in the Discord. I think you have some pretty cool ideas. Let's uh, let's hit that.